happened you've buried it and you met a guy yeah. and you end up marrying I got we got married and he had four kids, had four kids. that you were not that much married. older than yes. yourself and hey look you know that that happens these days it does there's, there's a lot blended of blended families were not socially acceptable then and we lived in a little parochial town uh, North Eden, which is just outside of Mackay yep so I was very much the object of discussion because I was 16 years younger than Les yes uh, I was tall and slim long ski legs yep. long hair up by down my bum yep. um, it didn't really fit the persona of senior staff of course what did he do of course he's he was a chief chemist in Trinidad a technologist not sure I don't like those people <laughs> those people have run, run me. Yes, I got a problem with CSR and. Oh, have you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, no, it wasn't working for CSR. All oh, right, cool. Yeah. All right. There is a CSR now in the kind, but not the one that Les worked at. Um, there's an old dil dilapidated building up there with the sugar institute yeah, or something. Yeah, it used to be yeah. the sugar research. Yeah, I've driven past that a few times in the last couple of years, and I just think these are the people that made us think that fat made us fat and sugar was awesome and got us addicted <laughs> to sugar, wasn't it? Yeah. See so. again. That was society, and that's how it was. Society. We can't put today's values on yesterday's actions. Of course. So now, looking back at, at Les, your marriage, your, your, your marriage to Les, and was that love? Was that you, yes? You, was yeah. Love. Yeah. We had a wonderful thirty-one year relationship. That's awesome. Despite until he went to heaven. Uh, yeah, of course. But despite what society was looking at you, and it would have got better for you as as you. Oh yeah, and I got stronger. The, I you yeah, know I drew very personally at first. Yeah. But then I got stronger and I started moving to the community and I joined Toastmasters. Yeah, that was an absolute turning point and that's been a saviour. The friendships that I've developed yeah. over these 43 years that I've been in the organisation have been amazing. Yeah. So when you say Toastmasters, for anyone who's out there listening, um, we're not saying that everyone has to go and join Toastmasters, are we? Toastmasters, no, no, we I want to. I want to go and do some public speaking for sure. I'll get better at doing this. but. Um, but any sort of club or any sort of group activity with other people that are like-minded, mm -hmm. you would say that that is what you needed and that's what you found I, in Toastmasters? I didn't go because I wanted to be a public speaker. I wanted to increase my confidence. <laughs> there you go. And you so, yeah. yeah, because I was so much younger than Les, yeah. all of his um, associates were more his age bracket mm -hmm. and so were the wives. So I needed a bit of confidence to be able to mix with them and, and, and feel a-okay. Right, so...